The Hells Angels are known for their ruthless and violent nature. After all, it's what makes them one of the most powerful one percenter gangs in the world. But this does not mean that their actions keep the competition away. When you are the top dog, enemies are sure to come by. The Hells Angels are a worldwide phenomenon with chapters in many different nations. The German Hells Angels are among the most visible and powerful of these organizations' chapters. Despite being labeled an illegal motorbike gang, the German Hells Angels have continued to operate and even expanded their territory. A testament to their tenacity and resolve, they have founded countless local chapters across Germany. The Hells Angels in Germany, however, have made an impact that is felt well beyond their own country's boundaries. Their influence on the Hells Angels' reputation and activities around the world is significant. The organization's global standing and mission have been significantly influenced by the efforts of its German chapter. They have been proven to be actively involved in illegal activities such as international drug trafficking. The German Hells Angels have also fought with other gangs in countries like the Netherlands and Sweden. These conflicts have only served to underscore their importance within the Hells Angels' global activities. Their conflicts with other gangs highlight the power dynamics and territorial disputes that characterize transnational motorcycle gangs. Well, let's talk about one such incident. The northern German city of Hamburg is in the midst of a media frenzy following reports of a deadly shooting that took place on or around May 6th. Danny A., a member of the notorious Hells Angels motorcycle organization, was killed in the accident. Harry F., a friend of his, is suspected of shooting someone in the city's Langenhorn neighborhood. The members of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club are expected to abide by a code of conduct that is founded on the values of pride and honor. When the club or its members are treated disrespectfully or attacked, the members are expected to strike back. Attacks against the club's reputation or territory, as well as physical violence against a member, are all grounds for vengeance according to the club's code of conduct. In such cases, the club may resort to physical violence or other forms of intimidation to signal that it means business. The fact that Danny's son witnessed the horrible event further adds to his anguish and the gravity of the situation. More tragically, it appears that the alleged gunman Harry F. took his own life after performing the terrible act. The Hells Angels community is in sorrow after hearing the news of the shooting, which sent shockwaves through the group. Despite the bloody nature of the episode, the Hells Angels have shown no signs of reprisal, suggesting that the disagreement was resolved on a personal level. Retaliatory attacks between rival gangs, mainly between the Hells Angels and the Mongols, have occurred in the city of Hamburg in the past. According to reports, however, the Hells Angels' current focus is on making arrangements for the funeral of their deceased member, which will reportedly take place in Hamburg. Motorcyclists from all over Germany have been following the story, and many of them want to attend the funeral. The event happened right as the motorcycle riding season was beginning, which is worth highlighting. However, the specifics of what caused the deaths of these two people must be established. The reported source of contention between the two Angels members, Danny and Harry, was a money disagreement. While serving time for murder, criminal record holder Harry put 9,000 euros of Danny's money in Bitcoin. It was stated that after Harry's release, his Bitcoin holdings had increased in value to the tune of about 23,000 euros. However, Danny asked for 60,000 euros, an amount Harry simply did not have. Danny is accused of stalking and harassing Harry because of their ongoing financial dispute. A deadly shooting occurred as a result of their mounting tensions. Desperate on a Saturday night, Harry shot Danny before turning the gun on himself. The investigation into this event has been upgraded to a murder probe. Harry's fiance has come forward to say that he did this to keep his family safe from Danny. Although gang retaliation is not mentioned here, history in Hamburg shows that there have been violent events between competing motorbike gangs. It is alleged that a member of the Mongols MC named Arash R and his girlfriend were targeted by the Hells Angels and were shot at their flat in 2016. Darius F was shot in June of 2018 while driving his Bentley near the Hamburg Military Stadium. Thankfully, he managed to escape the attack with only serious wounds. Arashar was arrested and tried for attempted murder after police investigated the gunshot. He received a life sentence in jail in March of 2021 for the shooting. Prosecutors claim that Arashar was plotting retribution against Darius F because F was the one who had kicked him out of the Mongols motorbike club. This story highlights the great lengths to which some members of competing outlaw motorcycle gangs will go in order to safeguard their reputations and exact revenge for perceived slights. 
The Hells Angels and the Mongols have been rivals for a long time, and there have been violent conflicts between the two groups in a number of locations. These conflicts have frequently resulted in violent confrontations and caused several casualties and injuries. During the annual Lawlin River Run motorcycle event in Lawlin, Nevada, the Mongols and the Hells Angels got into one of their most infamous brawls in 2002. The fight between the two clubs started as a verbal exchange between two individuals, but quickly grew into a full-scale brawl. The brawl escalated quickly and violently as firearms, knives, and other weapons were brought into play. Three people tragically lost their lives and several more were seriously injured in this brutal confrontation. That same year, more violence broke out in Haraz Casino in Lawlin, Nevada. There was a full-scale gunfight within the casino grounds between the Mongols and the Hells Angels. Many people were hurt in the gunfight, which only served to inflame tensions between the two motorbike gangs. In 2008, the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in South Dakota served as the setting for yet another bloody confrontation between the Mongols and the Hells Angels. During the rally, members of the two groups got into a fight at a campground. Sadly, a member of the Hells Angels was fatally stabbed during the fight, adding another devastating death toll to the ongoing war. In 2008, the war between the Mongols and the Hells Angels spread all the way to the terminals of San Francisco International Airport. After a heated altercation between members of the two clubs, the airport became the disturbing site of further bloodshed. A member of the Hells Angels was killed in this fight, highlighting the seriousness and peril of this continuous feud. These episodes are reminders of the deep-rooted rivalry and hostility between the Mongols and the Hells Angels motorcycle gangs. These conflicts are indicative of the high-stakes nature of the rivalry, as each showdown has the ability to end everything in its path. While it is important to acknowledge that not all members of these clubs engage in violent activities, the history of confrontations between the Mongols and the Hells Angels exemplifies the dangerous reality that some members are willing to confront and the profound impact it has on the wider community. But one thing is certain, these boys aren't going to stop attacking each other anytime soon. And the only way the conflict is going to stop is if these clubs are shut down, and that is also an improbable scenario. So that is all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.